FAD Weekly and Good Design Australia are proud to present the Australian International Design Awards. Famous for its picturesque harbour and iconic landmarks, Sydney is fast coming of age, consolidating its position as a global city. And no event sums up that ambition better than the Australian International Design Awards. Hosted by none other than Li Ling Chin. Good design is different things to different people. To some, it's represented by elegance and aesthetics. Fans of engineering purity have their definition, and to others again, utilitarian perfection says it all. The Design Awards originally founded in 1958. And with that long history, it's very exciting to see where we are now. I'm Brandon Gein, Chair of the Australian International Design Awards. I'm Stephanie Pemberton, I'm the Program Director. We've got nine categories all up and the ones that fall under the product category are consumer products. We have business and technology. We have a housing and building category. Automotive and transport. Heavy machinery. Sport and leisure. There's a medical and scientific category. Architectural and interior products. This year for the first year has been very interesting because we've added a service design category to represent the role of design within the service sector. Hi, I'm Jim Cameron and I am a deep sea explorer and part-time filmmaker. I think good design is, is a, an elegant solution to a problem um, and you know, it, has to have a, it has to have an aesthetic elegance but it also has to have a conceptual engineering elegance and you look for that and when you find it you really get excited. So what does good design mean to you? Good design is not only a matter of efficiency, but it's a matter of beauty. We know that. It's about how things look and how things work. Good design, to me, is about really changing the way we live. It's about creating iconic products. Design, in my view, is a vast continuum. One end we have fine art, and the other end we have hard engineering. And all human activities in that spectrum are designed in some way. Good design for me is about quality, and good design for me is about something that lasts. And they're things that you hear a lot about good design, but I think also, most importantly for me, good design is about something that brings you joy. And I think that is critical, actually, with good design. Well, good design for me really is about making connections between product experience and people. Really good design is intuitive, unseen, not really noticed until it's not there. If you're not thinking about it at all, we've done a good job. What I'm looking for in good design is something that naturally does what it's supposed to do, but what it needs to do is raise the bar. It needs to take things to the next level. A good design follows four things. Desirability, viability, feasibility, and then uh, last but not least, elegance. I think a good design has to be innovative. It's got to be something that's sustainable and it's got to be something that looks good. So it's got to be pleasing to the eye, aesthetically pleasing. So good design to me is to bring innovation and usability together. If you can do that in an exciting way, then I think it will help improve people's lives. I think design should delight. And that's design, it is so broad. The Australian International Design Award set the benchmark in judgmental rigour ensuring expert evaluation of good, better and best. Wow, this is unbelievable, incredible honour. What you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, is, the, is almost the entire team that actually built this vehicle. The amazing thing is that these uh, men, men and, uh, and ladies here uh, had never worked on a manned submersible before. Not only they were, were they building their first sub, but that sub was designed to go deeper by half again than any other existing operating manned submersible in the world, and that includes everything from governments, navies, and institutions. And that on its face is seemingly impossible. I just want to say that I could not be prouder of this team right here. I wish I could give, I wish I could single everyone out for you and tell you what they did. But, uh, you know, this, these, these are the people that built, built the vehicle and, and I think made history. Uh, so I'm very, very proud of you and very, very grateful on their behalf uh, for, for this incredible prestigious award. Thank you so much. And the criteria upon which these are judged are form, function, quality, safety, sustainability and innovation. 
I'm really proud to say that we ask the judges to run through the products one by one and physically test the products as you would a consumer. The criteria look to the connections that the products might make and to the commercial aspects of a product, which holistically is how it should be. It's very important to use design as a national tool for the improvement of the national economy because it provides efficiency and competitiveness. Having done movies, I, I know that it's not enough for something to work, it's also got to look good. If they showed me a design that would have worked perfectly well but didn't look good, I threw it out. <laughs> and these engineers were just scratching their heads. Wait a minute, aren't we on a deadline? Aren't we supposed to be trying to accomplish this task? Yeah, but it's got to look good too. This is FAD Weekly, the very best in global fashion, art and design.